It's 20 years of Gmail and I've got a question for you. When did you last receive an email that was so joyful, that it made you laugh, that it was flirting, that it was really interesting? Because I just had a look at my email inbox stats and I have 80,000 odd emails across my inboxes. 10,613 of them at this moment are currently unread. And then I read this from the New York Times from Ezra Klein. Listen to this. I have thousands of photos of my children, but a few that I've set aside to revisit. I have records of virtually every text I've sent since I was at college, but no idea how to find the ones that meant something. I have stored everything and saved nothing. It made me stop in my tracks, especially as over Easter holidays, I've been decluttering the house. And it really made me think about how we declutter the crap in tech and stop adding on and on and on and on and storing and storing and actually started to make choices. One of the choices that I've made, which I love, is to delete photos. I go to the date, 12th of April, and I search all the photos from that date over as many years as they're stored in my phone. And I delete all the rubbish pictures of the shopping list, stuff from WhatsApp before I worked out and had to not save all that stuff automatically. Delete five of the six awful pictures I've taken of my children and save the one that isn't too terrible. And it's so freeing. I go from about 300 on a day to 20 at most. So I recommend that to you, but I have a second question, which is what the hell do I do with all these emails? How do I escape them? I know you all know, so please tell me. Next week, I'm at Excel, emceeing the HR Technologies Conference. Please come and say hi. I would love to see you. We'll be making a vlog from there on what we are finding out. See you next Friday. Standing in a crowd of